Hello friends, the other day I saw a lens for sale on the internet, it was this lens and then you were able to perceive some haze inside the lens. So I decided to write the seller asking him whether this has an influence or not on the image quality. And then his answer was a sharp and clear no, telling me that this doesn't have an influence whatsoever on the image quality. That I can write the lens without any doubt. So. I obviously knew he was lying um, and then I decided to get the lens anyway just to show you and make a comparison with a clear lens and then why I'm doing this because uh, these announcers uh, for this lens I bought uh, they are not uncommon you actually see them a lot on the internet people saying um, lens has slight haze but then um, it doesn't have an influence whatsoever on the image quality so and then here you will tell me, uh, okay, but I don't, I, I'm not able to see any haze at all. So for sure, uh, this doesn't have an influence on image quality. So let me get a close up of what I'm talking about. So here I have the lens, and then you're able to perceive inside the lens a really, really, really slight whitish veil. Or haze and then if I get the clear lens which I have here uh, you don't see nothing at all it is transparent so there is something there and uh, the question is uh, does this really have an influence on the image quality so I decided to make some comparison pictures I did that two days ago in the park and now I'm going to show you and then you will see that the influence of this slight haze is actually really really big on the image quality so here I am ready for the comparison and uh, as I told you before these two images were taken two days ago in the park at the end of the day so the, so the, the sun is here in the corner of the image I did that intentionally so uh, we can intensify the effects of the haze on the image I don't think I, I have to tell you that this image is the lens with haze here we open f1.8 f1 and then here on the right we have the uh, image of the clear lens so and then as you can see the image uh, which has and the lens which has haze it lacks uh, terribly of contrast if we come here uh, to the back of the bushes and uh, we can see um, indeed and the lack of contrast even here on the background we have this number four which is to the train station and then here it is variable barely visible and uh, on the image who lacks a lot of contrast same thing here for this tree so overall the image is not very good but okay so uh, one argument people uses and uh, when trying to sell these lenses with haze is saying okay just uh, close the lens done a bit one stop and uh, it should do the trick and then if we come uh, here to f2.8 we obviously see that um there is a, a slight uh, improvement well actually a great improvement but uh, what is the point of buying a 1.8 lens if you're not able to use it uh, at full speed uh, because of this uh, haze okay for me it's a bit dumb but even then uh, you can see that uh, the lack of contrast is, is still present we can see here that on the bushes um, so overall there is an improvement but not really a big deal so let's go further into the stops and uh, let's jump to f5.6 uh, uh, and then even then uh, we can see that uh, the images uh, well they look good there's even one kid who came into the frame uh, to play um, and then here still we have this remarked a lack of contrast into uh, the image and the lens with which has says so okay so let's go uh, directly to f8 the kit is still there and um, and then here 
we can see the difference if you ask me personally I will go to the clear lens for obvious reasons and then if someone tries to let to sell you a lens with haze and then they insist that uh, this doesn't have an influence on the image quality they are for sure um, lying to you either intentionally or by omission but uh, unless the price is really good or a rare lens or whatever uh, I will steer away from them so this is all I wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?